your boy TRNT, and I'm back one more again. This time I'm back with a brand new album reaction. I'm talking about your boy Usher. He about to get ready to perform for the Super Bowl. But before we uh, check out a Super Bowl reaction, he just dropped a brand new album called Coming Home. And unlike the other YouTubers and reactors, I do not skip the song. I do not pause the songs. I listen to the whole songs. And at the end of the commentary, I mean, at the end of the song, I get my commentary at the end. I grade each song from 0 to 10, 10 being the best. So we're going to rate each song. If a song is... Five and below, that means it's trash. If it's a trash song, it's five and below. If it's mid-average okay, that's a six. If it's a good song, that depends on me and y'all. We get to judge this. It's seven to ten. So let's be fair. Make sure y'all subscribe. Y'all can tune in. We live on Twitch right now. And make sure y'all follow me on every social media. Look, Trent Music is spelled the same way as my channel. So without further ado, this is Usher coming home. In your fucking panties on a bunch and making reaction bits. <laughs> I hate you niggas that make reaction bits. Coming home, featuring Burner Boy. By your boy Usher featuring Burner Boy. Let me start by saying, um, I like the fact that he didn't use Burner like I expected him to use. You know what I'm saying? I'm a big Burner Boy fan. If y'all new to my channel, he's the reason why I start doing music reactions. I, I got turned on <coughs> to Burner and it introduced me to a lot of other people, especially with the people y'all recommend. But um, yeah, this album called Coming Home. And it's a it's the uh, album cover got him holding a peach, so it's like he coming home to the peach state, even though we know he originally from Tennessee. 
uh, Chattanooga, but he made Atlanta was his, um, where he basically jumped off the porch and he's coming home to Atlanta. Everybody thought the, uh, Super Bowl was going to be in Atlanta and they was expecting a whole bunch of Atlanta artists, but the fact that they got Usher and he supposed to be performing at the Super Bowl in Vegas, which he have a residency in Vegas for the last two or three years and they've been selling out doing good. And uh, Usher making Vegas, he got the key to the city. He said he making Vegas like his second or third home, you know what I mean? And um, I think it was smart and tra uh, tra strategic to um, put out some type of music. We we know he been doing teasers with Jermaine Dupri. Shout out to JD. They been talking about Confessions Part 2. And I'm glad they taking their time. It's not rushing because JD have been in his bag. A lot of uh, y'all forgot. A lot of y'all forgot that Usher originally used to work with JD production wise, and um, even JD lately, people don't realize how many hits he been part of. Even the ones he hit today, like with Money Long and um, Division and all them people. And um, I feel like if they was to do a confession part two, it need to be perfect. The Super Bowl. Uh, it seemed like it'll be the right time to drop that album, but like Confession, the original one was a perfect album. It was a, a, a top selling album and it was a good album. The To me, it was like probably the last good full length Usher album. But the um, this one, I'm glad the fact that they put that one on the side. Maybe it may come out later this year with all this hype around Usher. Maybe... Um, next year but he giving us music to start off this year and um according to some of the i mean right, judging off some of the singles he released i reacted to the one with feels i like that song probably the best song i heard so far i reacted to the one he did with 21 savage and uh i think summer walker y'all can check that out on my channel um all the other singles that he released throughout the year it was with different people different vibes so He's one of them artists that's going to give us different sounds. And um, so with that being said, this album called Coming Home, he coming to the main stage. He's mixing different uh, genres of music. He probably, and I think it's a statement like he's coming home to the king spot. Like ever since R. Kelly in jail and all the other younger rappers, I mean, younger R&B stars don't know who real King is. They saying it's Jacquees. He claiming him himself. I like Jacquees, by the way. Um, but some people saying it's Chris Brown, which I feel like it could be Chris. But Chris is like uh, R&B slash pop. Says everything. He's like a younger version of um, Usher. But with his history, people take that away from him. But Usher is like... He's selling out the vacancy. He's doing the Super Bowl. He he never really been in trouble. He made classics. Like, he's taking that stance. He even say he it could be multiple, but he's really, let's think about Usher being the king of R&B for a long time, and it's solidified now. Um, I don't think no other R&B artist can do it at the level he's doing it besides Chris Brown. But um, like I said, back to this song, it threw me off guard. It wasn't a traditional opening for an R&B song or any other song. And um, they didn't use Burner Boy like I expected them to use Burner Boy. They they put him on there. I think he Usher just wanted to work on him, work with him. But um, I think they could have made a better song. So zero out of 10. And this has been the intro, setting the tone. Time-wise, it's three minutes and 15 seconds. Perfect time-wise. But I'm going to have to take away, it could have been better. But it was a good song. I'm going to get this one a 7.5 with burner boy i love burner boy and usher it was cool so it was a good song to me it's 7.5 but i want to know what y'all think about this song what y'all think about usher what y'all think about burner boy what y'all think about the album what's y'all favorite song on the album and of course if i can't get to each song on the album man let me know in the comments or after y'all watch the super bowl which one y'all want me to come back and react to and if y'all got some suggestions right now y'all can let me know i'm on twitch you dig? So make sure y'all subscribe. And guess what? When we get to 10K subscribers, I will do Cash App giveaways to the best comments. I look at all y'all comments, all y'all suggestions. 
So um, right now, I'm still in the mood to rock out with this album. So we're going to click the next video. And I'll meet y'all there. Click the next video. If not, I'm...